Uh, I've often said that we have the, uh, the, 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 the finest uh, military on the face of the planet for two reasons. Both because of the, uh, the uh, men and women who wear the uniform and their patriotism and dedication, uh, but also because of the companies and the men and women who are out there building the equipment that they need and rely on to do their job, be effective, and, and stay safe and do it, and do it well. So you are all a part of supporting our nation's uh, uh, war fighters. I am grateful for the work that you do. I'm thrilled that we are actually getting to now building the, uh, the two subs a year. It comes at a very uh, welcome time when uh, our, our state is facing uh, very difficult economic times that both Governor and Senator Reid have, uh, have said with an unemployment rate of over 12 percent, which is unacceptable to all of us. We're looking for every avenue possible to increase uh, uh, the, the jobs in, in Rhode Island and the fact that we are going to be adding about 300 jobs a year starting uh, 2011 uh, in, in right here at, uh, at Electric Boat at, uh, in Quonset Point. This is a uh, uh, great news for our, for our state, for our workers, and uh, you're going to put a lot of your talents and great energy to work. So, John, congratulations on this ribbon cutting. Great to be here with Senator Reed, who I know uh, is a tireless fighter on the Senate Armed Services Committee and now uh, chair of the Sea Power Subcommittee on uh, the Senate Armed Services Committee. We couldn't ask for a better partner in this effort than Senator Reed, and I'm proud to work with him and, of course, along with the governor. Thank you, everybody. Let's get to work.